You're an established six-figure entrepreneur. You've got somebody on your team already, somebody who's either an employee or a contractor. You've got people that are supposed to help ease the time pressure that you're feeling and enable you to take more and more clients on. So why isn't it happening? Because you are most likely making this mistake when it comes to hiring and leading your team. My name is Sheila Cummins. I'm the CEO and founder of The Road to Seven. And for the last decade, I've been helping hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of women entrepreneurs to scale a thriving, sustainable and profitable business. We do it by implementing a very strong framework on which you can build. So if you have people that are on your team, but you still are completely slammed for time, you're at capacity, over capacity, you're in survival mode, all you're doing is client delivery, working in the business, trying to get all the pieces to work and talk to each other, then you probably have the wrong people on your team and you're not leading them in a way that's going to help you scale or grow. Let me explain. When we first hire, we tend to hire people that we can afford. And I'm using air quotes because we have this preconceived notion of what it is we can afford to hire for in our company. What we're forgetting is what our hourly rate is doing that work that we love, where it's our genius, where it's our biggest profit margin, where we love and thrive and get tons of energy. That is where you should be spending the bulk of your time. But if you're so busy doing the minutia, moving pieces from A to B, doing the small things, and this is the biggest mistake, being responsible for all the strategy and all the decisions when it comes to growing your business, that's why you're stuck. Let me say it again. We have to hire powerfully, very strategically, We've got to bring people in who can help you with the strategy and decision making in order to help you grow. It's how you're going to increase your revenue the fastest and it's how we're going to get your business operating efficiently and effectively with a power, powerful dream team behind you. At this moment, I'm going to challenge you to think about the last three days and think about everything that you delegated or outsourced out to somebody else. What of those things were a task? And which of those things were a project where that person had full authority and ownership over the results? You are delegating tasks you are maintaining the bottleneck in your company as long as you're the only decision maker, you're the only strategist, and you're the one who's insisting for whatever that person has been hired for to be done your way. When you can bring somebody in who has some chops where you don't, a marketing specialist, a sales specialist, a fulfillment specialist, someone who can fill the gaps so that you don't have to be everything to everyone and you can focus solely on those places where you bring your genius that is your fastest path to cash, your most profitable activity. When you bring somebody else in to help make some decisions and to have ownership over some of the projects, the weight gets lifted. You can find yourself, you can find that clear path that you need to get out of your own way. But until you let go and let somebody else in on your team who can make decisions, who you can begin to trust, and when we can rewrite the story that you're the only person who can do all the pieces in your business and you're the only person who your clients want to work with and you're the only person who can do ABC because you've been doing it that way and that your way is the only way. And when we can get over the story that nobody out there wants to work and there's no good talent available to hire and nobody understands what you need, that is garbage. We use those stories to keep it safe. It is really hard to let go of something that you've created from nothing, which is exactly what an entrepreneur does. You've gone from ideation and you're now at the spot of execution. You're making money. You've got clients. It is time to start letting go so that this business can become bigger than you and you can bring in those dream team members who can help you grow. 
yeah, you're going to have to do some profit sharing at the beginning, especially when you bring someone new on. But if bringing someone new and removing those projects from your plate enables you to do more of your highest earning work, then it will work itself out faster rather than slower. When we bring on key players onto our team that are there to help grow, there to help build, there to help increase the efficiency and effectiveness of your business, that's where the scaling vortex starts. That's where we can start making some real magic. Because having that clear roadmap, that step-by-step -step process, having those dream teams in place and having enough time and schedule flexibility that you can actually live the life that you wanted when you started this business and pay yourself the amount that you want in order to live the lifestyle that you want. When you've got those pieces in place, that's where the magic happens. And the more magic that you have in your business, the more fun that it is. The more magic you have in the business, the more people you get to serve, the more lives you impact. And so this is your invitation. We have a springboard starting this month. That is the beginning place where people come into our company so we can help you scale. We're gonna give you the framework that you need and we're gonna hold your hand. We're an incredible group of women and we all see you here, you understand what you're going through and we're gonna hold you accountable to be implementing this framework that I've developed and that has been used to scale hundreds of companies. If you want more info, just honestly send me a DM, leave a comment with the word scale and I'd love to tell you about it. But in the meantime, stop making the mistake of delegating tasks and start delegating projects and full authority and ownership over pieces of your company to your team. That is where you're gonna start growing. I'll talk to you next week.